Agashi here. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top 5k drama for 2018. So I already share with you guys my top dramas that are not Korean dramas for 2018 already. So I this one's going to be just Korean in general. There has been a lot of good dramas for 2018 and it was a very tough choice to pick. I had a lot of favorites and enjoyed a lot of drama this year with like laughing, crying, getting angry with the characters, getting soaked into, filming love and getting butterflies and giggling and everything. And it was an amazing year for some very very good dramas. I'm just going to be going through a quick list of some dramas that I watched this year. It had a lot this year had a lot of good dramas and good cast and everything and like I said it was really really hard to make a decision. Like some of the dramas that I watched there's like What's Wrong with Secretary Kim, The Beauty Inside, You Who Forgot Poetry, Just Between Lovers, My Ideas Come on Beauty, Korean Odyssey, um, Live, Radio Romance, Suits, Greasy Mellow, Tedis Behind Me, 30 but 17, Lovely Horribly, um, Go Wakiki, Devilish Happiness, Your Honor, My Ajashi, Which is Love, and so much more that I cannot remember from the top of my head, but that's all I can think of. And um, there are some dramas that has not ended for 2018 yet, such as The Last Empress, Top Star You Big, Coffee Do Me a Favor, etc. But those will not be included because they have not ended yet and we kind of don't know what's going to be happening in the storyline. Therefore, they're not picked for our Top 2018. So it's basically drama that has ended within 2018. So we'll be starting with number 5. My number 5 is Just Between Lovers or also known as Rain or Shine. It is played by Juno 2PM and Wang Jing Ah. And I didn't really notice this drama until it was like episode 6. I let it, I actually let it sit for a bit before I watched it because it, I felt like there's just so much going on. And I actually end up binge watching 6 episodes and I fell in love with it. It was such a beautiful healing love story between the main characters. Like, they both went through such tragic past as young kids. And they had crossed paths once before. And they meet again in the future. And those that incident that happened in the past is still haunting them. And they, even though they felt wrong, they end up learning to love and heal each other. And it deal with a lot of family, healing love, and learning to love your life, whether it's good or bad. So I really enjoyed it for that. And um, number four is Suits by um, Chang, Chang Dong Gang and Park Kyung Shi. I've seen Chang Dong Gang's acting like way back in like All About Eve and like with him being par par pairing up with Park Kyung Shi and Park Kyung Shi being able to act with such a good actor too. I was just so excited for it. Suits is an adapting, uh, it adapt a uh, American TV show also called Suits and um, I think for the Korean version it was like the first two seasons of the American one so it was just short and straightforward to it they didn't really like go into details or like a lot of cases and stuff like that like how it happened in the American one I haven't actually watched the American one but I read about it so I, it kind of gave me an idea when I was watching the Korean one and I really enjoyed it for Park Hyung Shi's smart character. Like even though he is so intelligent, he's smart and everything like that, he learned a lot from uh, Chang Dong Gang's character. Like it's not just you. You may be smart, book smart, but you got to be smart in real life too, because people, there are tricks out there. And in order to trick other people, or in order to not fall into the trap, you gotta like. Be smart about it and it's a lot of like good pretty much young lesson te teaching to Park Hyung-shi's character so I really really like that like it's like getting taught by a mentor so I really really enjoy stuff like that and I like I I really besides like you know comedy romance and action criminal is like some 
movies or another genre that I love. And I do get paranoid by sometimes watching too much criminal like TV shows. So I try not to watch a lot of it, but I do really enjoy it. So for number three is Greasy Mellow or also known as Walk of Love, played also by Juno with Jang Hyuk and Jung Rui Wong. So I love this for the food <laughs> and Juno learning how to cook and his character and, and everything. But there's more to it and um I pay more attention to Juno's character as Sokbong, like how he grew a lot in the drama. He started off so well in this high class restaurant, uh, in a hotel, and they everybody just looked down on him and then him moving on and he struggles with Jang Hyu and his gang pay. But Juno learned so much from Jang Hyu and his gang pay and like and it's just like differentiating classes and like Juno learned to learn from Jang Hyu's character. Like Jang Hyu, yeah he may be a top Ganpei and people are afraid of him but honestly he's one of the nice Ganpei out of all of the other Ganpei and like it's like like Jang Hyu he's starting off as you know an orphan he had nothing and he grew up with his group of Ganpei and he gave them everything and Juno needs to understand that like you gotta start somewhere and you're gonna start at the bottom people are gonna look down on you people are gonna step on you there are gonna be people who leave you and there are gonna be people who's gonna enter your life but you gotta accept all that and be patient and um, his character Sopong was like so impatient in the first place, but he learned so much from Jang Hyu's character and he developed so well. So I really like that. Like it really, really taught you like how to reach your dream and goals and you got to be patient and it is hard to reach there, but hard works pay off. So my number two is Lovely Horribly. It is played by Park Shi-hoo, Song Ji-hyo, and Yi ki -gwang. Yes, I am a fan of ki -gwang, and I really loved it for ki -gwang, But honestly, the whole recreating your own destiny and working to avoid all bad lucks. Like um, Park Shi-hoo's character is Yu Philip and ji -hoo's character is Oh and soon And they aren't like destined to be together. And ki -gwang's character character which is Yi Sung Sungju was was destined to be with Ji Yu but um you fill up cooked in and like interrupted everything and you just gotta like rearrange everything and you know things turn out for the bat the three of them but you just gotta work around it and make it work. And I really liked it for the whole moral of that. Like I wasn't fully paying attention to the kind of like the scary stuff and the villain stuff like things like that happen and things like that are around you do believe in it and you know all this stuff like that but it's more of like life lesson teaching to reflecting on your life and encouraging you to work hard especially for Alton and Sue's character like how she went rock bottom and like nobody cared for her she lost everything and then you know come along someone like um Yi Sung Jun who picks her up and help her but you know just when he's like it's like he said he's always a step late and Philip is always the one there helping her protecting her and you know even though they're gonna go she's gonna go through bad luck Philip is gonna go through with her and I, I really like it for the whole idea and moral of that. Now for my number one for 2018. It is Teres Behind Me, played by Soji Sub and Jung In Sung. This drama is amazing in everything, the characters, storyline, and just everything. Like I loved it and like I just loved it how nothing has was left out. Like when a scene or an incident is created, just when you think they're gonna kind of like forget about that, it ties back to the original main point of the drama and I really like that like for example like the cane castle where <laughs> they were like you know the crazy ajumas like just when you think okay they're just crazy ajuma looking out for each other but no there's like agents hidden within king castle king castle and you're just like <gasps> So it's stuff like that. Like it's all connected. And it's just so good. It's so mysterious. And it got you wondering who is the bad guy. And all this stuff like that. And like. Ajushi and I, we were actually not planning to watch this. So I saw the trailer, the teaser, and everything came out. And I was just like, okay, it's so just so. But like, I didn't, I didn't really fully 
get dragged into the whole synopsis. So I'm like, I'm going to let it sit for the first four episodes. And Ajashi and I will give it a shot to see how it turns out. And then we got sucked in. And we're just like, okay, drama added to our list. And we're going to watch it. So that's how we encountered Teres Behind Me. So yeah, like a lot of time when dramas come out, we tend to kind of like watch the teaser and wait on it. And it, once it comes out a couple episodes, we'll watch it to see how it turns out. And if it's good, we'll watch it. If it's not, we're kind of just like, okay, the first couple episodes, we're kind of done with it. So yes, but yeah, this drama, it was really well done. And the ending is great and satisfying to me. Like both characters, they loved and heal one another, respecting each other's privacy and decisions. And it was just really, really well done. So that is it for my top 5k drama for 2018 and we will be seeing Adrashi's top 5k drama for 2018 soon and seeing his, his thoughts so because he does not watch all the dramas that I watch like when I say watch he doesn't watch from episode 1 all the way to the end with me he's only seeing parts and parts of it so he really doesn't have an idea or an opinion for them and he just kind of like gets an idea or like hear it from me like what it's about and so he's not the some of the dramas i watch are not really like to his liking or he's not interested in it he just wants parts and parts of it or he just knows what i tell him but there are like dramas where him and i we actually watch together and we like sit together over popcorn and watching it together and we discuss about it we talk about it we make prediction of what's gonna happen and stuff like that so he will be having his video after mine so you guys will see what his top five are and that is it so we will see Adrashi's um top drama and then we'll see you guys next time